not for the gentleman I'm about to introduce you to, we wouldn't be standing here as the new owners of the SS United States. His name is Tom Watkins, and the reason he's so critical is that he happens to be very good friends with Jerry Lenfest and a fellow maritime enthusiast who explained to Jerry that this is a good group of people with a great mission that can accomplish the mission. And I want to introduce Judge Watkins. We're so grateful for what you've done for us, sir. Please come to the podium. Well, you did it. Congratulations, Conservancy. Congratulations, America. And hats off to Mr. Philadelphia, Commodore Jerry Lenfest. <laughs> Today, a day which will be celebrated for generations to come, you saved the United States. That is no small statement and no small achievement. When hope was gone, when the dark clouds of defeatism floated over Our Lady, this small band of believers and patriots stood tall against daunting odds, against the advice of most against a wall of inertia, resignation, defeatism, and bemused cynicism, they brought this great icon to safe harbor. So what is the meaning of what you have done? In no small measure, you have saved and preserved for our children, and their children, and all future children of this great land, a huge piece of their American heritage. What is this ship? She is nothing less than the living symbol of the genius, ingenuity, strength, and values living daily in the American experiment and in the American people. In 1950, a son of Philadelphia, William Francis Gibbs, the greatest ship designer who ever lived, created from the depths of his soul and the wellspring of his unique experiences, the fastest, strongest, sleekest, and most beautiful transoceanic liner ever constructed. Built in America at the height of the Cold War, nuclear threat, bold enemies, the SS United States became the tangible symbol of our nation's resolve to remain free and the strength to back it up. Oh yes, she was beautiful and sumptuous and all who traveled on her, four presidents, royalty, Hollywood icons, captains of industry and science, Nobel Prize winners, all marveled at her luxury and speed. And oh boy, what speed, 43 knots, 50 miles an hour, she could at a moment's notice be transformed into the most formidable troop carrier ever seen, capable of transporting an infantry division 10,000 miles around the globe in mere days without refueling. She must indeed have given those who at the time were contemplating world mischief some serious pause and in a real sense, changed world history. The sight of this great vessel looming over the horizon, crashing at speed through the wind and waves, indeed made many a heart skip a beat or two. The SS United States is more than dreams of great people. She is the living symbol of the very concept of these United States. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from the French the Alamo was won from Mexico. The Liberty Bell was cast in England. But this great lady combines the meaning of all those monuments, but designed and built in America by Americans, a traveling statement of our values and what those values can achieve. So where are we on this journey? We have saved this damsel in distress from the looters, pilferers, and scrappers who longed to beach her on a foreign shore and cut her into ignominious pieces. But take a look. Can't you see a faint smile crossing her bow today? Don't those stacks, 
seem a little more proud and straight, a little makeup, a new frock, some renewed love, no lady can resist that. Good as new, that's what she will be. Is today the end of the story? Not by a long shot. But to quote Churchill during the darkest days of World War II, quote, this is not the end, this is not the beginning of the end, but it is the end of the beginning. The next chapter is indeed beginning. The next leg of the journey starts here, now, today. We cannot tell the future, but we can celebrate the present. And today we celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, the SS United States is open for business. Thank you.